Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you another alcohol ink tutorial. This time I'm going to show you a few new techniques that I've learnt. It's going to be something along the lines of this. So I have actually filmed a tutorial on this but I wasn't quite happy with the way some of it came out so I wanted to start with the tutorial that I'm going to do now and then I can go ahead and clip in some of these clips if you're interested in seeing how I created this one. So the main aim is to show you how I created these features here with alcohol inks. Well, what you're going to need is some Yippoo paper, that is my favourite paper for alcohol inks. I've just got a small bit here today that I'm going to show you a tester on. And then Basically, you're going to need your alcohol inks as well. I've got a mixture of Tim Holtz. Then, what you're going to need to grab is some paper doilies. Now, I got these ones from Lakeland. Everything that I'm going to use today, I'll put in the description in the link below. Anything with paper that has cutouts in it. This is because the paper will soak up the ink and hopefully leave behind some nice patterns. Now, with alcohol ink, the isoprofil evaporates really really quickly which is why I think my larger piece didn't work so this does work better on smaller pieces it's just because you need to get in there quickly and like I said the isopropyl evaporates very quickly and therefore dries quickly so what I'm going to do is use this doily for today it's really pretty I like the circle I just think it's really cute and I think it will suit the size paper that I have today. I'll probably just do say this section here and what I'm going to do is just cut off the excess and I can keep that if I want to use it for something else and I'm also just going to cut out this middle bit and that's just because the alcohol inks obviously completely soak through that part and so there's not much point in it being really being there to be honest and I've got um, a section of another piece here so I think I'll have that piece like that and this piece like that first thing I'm going to do is spray the sheet with some isopropyl just to get it wet and you want the colours to be really bright because Obviously, the brighter the colours, the more it will stand out. So I'm just going to spray the paper. And once it's covered, then just quickly cover it however you want it to look. spray duster then you can use that as well so once that's blended all nicely we're going to drop our pattern on so that one is going to go like that and this one is going to go like that and basically you're going to want to press down so what I would suggest you use is maybe go and get a cotton wool bud and just use the cotton wool bud to press down on every single section of the paper doily and this is a really important part because if the doily doesn't soak up the paper then you're not going to be left with a design and if bits are starting to dry out then just put a bit more of the colour that's sort of near that section so once everything is stuck down basically you're going to want to leave it for about I would say actually leave it overnight um, just because I've left it an hour before and it's actually still it's not turned out great because it's still wet on the doily so 
I would actually leave it a good 12 hours. And don't try and use a hairdryer because it literally blows the ink around and it's just not a good idea. It blows it underneath the doily as well. Okay, so it's the next morning. I've just left it overnight. And I'm just going to peel it off basically and see if we have a nice pattern going on. So it might be... Oh, it shouldn't be too difficult to take off. Okay, so we've got a nice pattern going on there. And then let's look at this one. This one's stuck on a bit more. So it's picked up some really nice patterns here and here and then some of the patterns there. Like I said earlier, you just have to put it down so quick and it's really hard to make sure the whole thing is covered. Um, this is like the bits where I drop the ink in, so maybe it's not the best idea. But on the whole, I'm quite happy with the patterns that I've got. So like I said earlier, I have this piece which I did. If you'd like to see how I did this piece, then just carry on watching. So for this section, I'm just going to be doing a voiceover. So basically, I had my doilies put down here, and I'm just pulling them off. And the centre doily didn't exactly turn out how I would like, as you'll be able to see. It's a little smeary around the middle section, so instead I've decided to make some patterns myself. So what I'm doing at this point is just dipping some cotton wool into isopropyl and rubbing out the centre bit, which I don't like. So just make sure at this point that you have a really well ventilated room or that you're wearing a mask to protect yourself from the strong fumes of the isopropyl. Now once I've got most of the ink off, I'm using a white gel pen to start to outline sections of the image that I did like. I really loved the patterns that the doilies left behind and just by using a white gel pen I feel like it emphasised the image a bit more so just creating a sort of lace-like effect and at this point I'm using a cotton wool bud to dip in ice profile and just take out the rest of the centre section. So I'm using a cotton wool bud just because I'll get a thinner and a cleaner line. At this point I've just used a dark purple pencil because I didn't have a dark purple pen but I've just come up with some designs myself basically and just drawing them in. You can either use patterns that you found on the internet or ones that you found in books or you can just come up with a design as I'm freehanding it here. But this is just to play around, have a bit of fun and use your creative flair. So I've just finished making some patterns and I literally I've just made it up. So there it is finished. I'm quite pleased with the outcome. It's sort of slightly different than what I thought it would be. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon with a new art video. Thanks for watching. Bye.